According to latest reports, Britain and Sweden have agreed to cooperate on a joint study on air combat, and Sweden could later join Britain's Tempest 6th generation fighter jet, which is meant to eventually replace the Eurofighter Typhoon from 2035. Sweden's Saab will not immediately join the same industrial team, but will be involved in a broader technology research, that could allow many other countries to join the Tempest program. Top experts have said, that the Tempest of Britain, and future combat air system of France and Germany, would both go ahead as separate projects. Britain has already offered a partnership to India, in the conceptualization and development of a sixth-generation combat aircraft. India has struggled to get its hands on a fifth-generation fighter jet, as its AMCA fighter jet is awaiting approval for design and development, and is not expected to make its first flight until 2032. India's plan to join the Russian fifth-generation fighter jet project had also fell through in 2018. Meanwhile, China has built two fifth-generation fighter jets, and is working on a new fifth-generation fighter jet for its navy. According to latest reports, India has declared that its indigenous Nag third-generation anti-tank guided system is ready for induction, and this announcement comes after 100% success rate in the summer user trials conducted by the Indian Army. Officials have said, that integration work is also ongoing, to retrofit the Rudra helicopter with the Helena variant of the Nag system. According to media reports, China is relying on Russian experience to develop a nuclear reactor for its first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. China is studying the reactors on Russia's largest ice breakers, after Russia invited China for the construction of a new class of nuclear ice breaker, which requires the development of surface ship-based reactors. China needs more powerful reactors that are equipped on its nuclear submarines, and top experts have said, that building icebreakers for Russia may provide the necessary experience to China. The Indian Navy is set to commission the 5th Dornier Aircraft Squadron on 22 July, and the squadron will operate the indigenous Dornier 228 short-range maritime reconnaissance aircraft. The aircraft is fitted with state-of-the-art sensors and equipment, which include advanced surveillance radar, electronic sensors and networking features, that would enhance maritime domain awareness of the Indian Navy. China has signaled a strong desire to work with India, moving towards early settlement of the boundary matter between the two countries, and this signal comes ahead of Chinese President's visit to India in October. A senior diplomat who is due to take over as the next ambassador to India has said, that the two countries have sufficient political wisdom and strong leaders to resolve the boundary matter.